Welcome to another trike bike video. In this video we're going to talk about adjusting the gears correctly. We have two parts that need to be adjusted, the derailleur and the gear cluster. The derailleur is the one that we make the adjustments to, to set the gears. Firstly, make sure that the derailleur is in the correct position, so the mounting bracket is pushed all the way down. Then check that the screw which holds a derailleur to the frame is nice and tight. Remember this is a fine thread so don't overdo it, just make sure it's firm. This is what the derailleur should look like when it's in the correct position. The gear cluster needs to be adjusted so there's enough room between the frame and the gear cluster to insert a business card. The derailleur changes gears by sideways movement, as you can see here. There are two screws which are used to adjust the derailleur movement. I've connected the chain correctly and you can see here that it doesn't go through all of the gears. It's only positions 5 all the way through to position 2 which are currently working with the derailleur. I now need to adjust the limits of movement. We do this by adjusting the screws on the side. The top screw, which I'm winding in and out, moves the derailleur closer to the bottom gear, which is gear number 6. You'll see now the chain drops into the correct position for gear 6. Being very careful, I use my thumb to push the derailleur over sideways. You can see here that it's not going all the way up to the top gear, gear position 1. So I adjust the other screw on the derailleur to give it more movement. Sometimes it's necessary to swing the derailleur down so you can get access to the screw. It depends on the position of the derailleur and the tools that you're using. A little bit more of an adjustment and we'll be able to push it over all the way. So gently push, just making it to the top one. So I'm going to make a little more adjustment to make sure it's right. It's really important that you keep your fingers in a safe spot during this process because it is possible to get uh, your fingers caught in the chain. You can see here we've correctly adjusted the derailleur now because it's going from gear 1 to gear 6 and back again. This is the correct position to push the derailleur. We then need to make sure the gear selector on the handlebars is in gear position number 6. And we feed the cable through the frame, insert it through the derailleur, and make sure everything is seated correctly. Then using a 9mm spanner, we undo the cable clamp on the bottom of the derailleur feed the cable in and then tighten firmly. When you are tightening firmly just hold the derailleur in place so you don't put any unnecessary strain on it. Now we go up to the handlebars and I'm clicking from gear position 6 to 5 to 4 to 3 and so on. Normally you should change gears only with the pedals rotating. For this demonstration video, however, I'm doing it without the pedals rotating so you can see the derailleur move. We're having a little bit of hesitation getting onto the top gear, so I'm just going to adjust the cable, just a couple of notches to get it to adjust correctly. This fine tunes the derailleur setting. Finally, we cut the cable off and put on the end cap to stop the cable from fraying. The end cap is held on by just a couple of small squeezes with your pliers. That's it, we've now correctly adjusted the gear change unit.